Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we'll be solving the question lead code 584, find customer referee. Okay, so in this question, uh, it's a pretty straightforward question, but there's just a few things we need to be careful about. So over here, we have a table called customer. Uh, we have ID, which is the primary key for the table. Uh, each row of this table indicates the ID of a customer, their name, and the ID of the customer who referred them. So that's the referee ID, okay? So what we have to do is we have to find the name of the customers that are not referred by the customer with ID equal to two. Okay, so now one thing to note is that each of the rows is going to be unique, okay? So we don't need to worry about that. Now, one thing is we need to basically look for the referee ID, which is not equal to two. But now we're going to have a small problem we have null values in the referee ID. So when you make a comparison with null, right? So if you uh, if you do null less than two, this is not going to give you any uh, result. The output of this is actually null, okay? So this is something we have to be very careful about. So now in this case, what we would be basically doing, let's just write the query. So select, uh, what do we want to return? We want to return the name uh, from the table is called customer. Sorry about that. And what is the condition? So the basic condition is the referee ID should not be equal to two. Yeah, so not equal to two. Cool, but now, like I said, when you make this comparison, right? So when you're checking if two is equal to null, the result is going to be null. And that is not, and that is not going to end up printing. So in this case, the only result we would have is Zach. That's it. So how do we solve this problem? Well, there's two ways. So the simplest thing that we could actually do is we could check if it is null, okay? So if it is null, so if is null, so if referee ID is null, then in that case, that is fine. Then that means it's not equal to two and we display that name. So if uh, where is null and, oh, sorry, not and, or, right? So if either of the conditions over there is true, then in that case, we are going to end up displaying the name. So this is one way to do it. So I'll submit it and you can see if it works. And as you can see, the submission for this was accepted. So another uh, function we can use is the coalesce function. So the way this works is you can give it a group of values. So let's just say we give it A, B, C, and D, okay? And what it does is it's going to return the first non-null value from left to right. So let's say A uh, is a null value and so is B and so is C. So what the function does is it first goes to A and since A is null, it goes to the next value. Now B is also null, so we go to the next value. C is also null, so we go to the next value, but now D is not null. So now in this case, the output of this is going to be D. Now similarly, let's just say very quickly, let's say A was not null. So the output of this would have been A. That's how it works. So this is also something that we could do, okay? So we could use the coalesce function over here. So coalesce, and we're gonna use it on a referee ID. So if the referee ID is not null, then we're going to use the actual numeric value. But if it is null, we can use any number except for two. So in this case, let's just use one, okay? So this solution should also work. Let's submit it. And as you can see, this submission also works. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching guys and do let me know if you have any questions.